get derailed when they when them people make me go into the office y'all I'm trying to tell y'all I've been trying to tell y'all for weeks I am completely thrown off by the office like nothing is the same after office day but also last week on office day let me clean this dirty screen before I go any farther but so last week um for office day I went in and because I hate office day so much I've been trying to like situate like other things surrounding office day so I was supposed to have a photo shoot with Capture, Capture by Ginny last week and we both just canceled on each other like felt like trash the day of um so I was like nah but we rescheduled it for this coming Thursday so I'm gonna be shooting with her this coming Thursday and last Thursday I shot with Muse Studios had an amazing time I hope that you guys saw the photos I posted on my Instagram um, but there are also like a handful of other photos that were taken that I think I'm gonna use to update my website and like some other like headshotty type like LinkedIn like I'm just going to use those photos for that. Um, I'm definitely going to plan or like schedule another session so that I can do some new digitals like for my modeling portfolio because they really ate. I had such a good time. I realized I don't think I did a vlog following Muse so like this is my little review. Such a good time. Everybody go sign up. Literally go and just check them out. I have I have nothing but amazing things to say. Um, their facilities are super clean, super white, super open. It's kind of aggy getting to in a car because you have to like find parking. It's in that like Chinatown area of Boston. So you would have to like go park in a garage, walk around the corner, and then you're going to be able to go. With that said, I'm not even mad at the location. It's so close to like South Station and all of the train station. So if you take any of the trains into the South Station, like downtown Boston area, you'd be able to get there on foot super easy. So 10 out of 10, recommend, please go, we love. Um, I also got a kick out of the people that were in there kind of running the space and like making sure I knew um, how to use, you know, their tools and their equipment and um, just kind of how to take the photos, how to focus, that whole nine, they killed it. Loved them, they were fantastic. So I just wanted to say that. But yeah, so Thursday of last week, I was amused. And Thursday of this week, I have this photo shoot with Capture, Capture by Ginny. With all of that said, last week dragged me, okay? Dragged me. Um, so I'm not sure if this is TMI, but you're on my YouTube. So I'm about to just be candid. I got my period. I got my period 
on Friday and I think that's why Thursday was like such a hard day for me. Thursday dragged, like literally the day dragged. I was tired all day. I was yawning at my desk. I was falling asleep. Even following the photo shoot, even though it was fantastic, I had a good time. I was bopping around on the backdrop. I was tired. I was crampy. I was just like feeling out of the blue and I don't know. By 30 years old, you would assume that somebody is like hip and on top of their period and like knowing when it's coming and that whole thing. I'm not that girl. I don't know. I never know. I truthfully didn't really get a period until I had a baby, which is so strange. You're probably like, girl, what? I'm not a girl who has a regular period. Never ever have I been that girl. So like, I would get a period like, if there's 12 months in a year, I probably got a period like one third of that. So like three or four months out of the year, um, I would get a period. And then the other months I just wouldn't. And I would never be worried about like being pregnant because I never got a period. So I didn't think I was fertile. It was like, Okay, but then y'all see that little boy out there. Okay, I was fertile apparently, had a baby, okay? Um, and then following the baby, now I have these like periods that are popping up. I don't know when they're coming, <laughs> okay? Hit me like a bus last week. I don't know when they're coming. I don't know when they're going. I don't know how long they last. I don't know what supplies I need to have for the flow. Like, I just don't know. So last Friday, I was, I woke up in the drag literally started i couldn't breathe i was sick my stomach hurt i couldn't eat i was i was sleeping like i was pregnant like absolutely exhausted sick to my stomach couldn't eat or drink or i was dry like literally all the things like on a regular like day i'm hitting my skin's moisturized i i'm energetic i'm doing the thing i don't even gotta try too hard like it's just it's flowing the period came y'all and i okay my skin was dry, my lips was dry, my hair wasn't laying right. I wasn't fitting my clothes right, okay? I couldn't even bend over, I was sweating, I was musty. It was, okay, we made our way through it. We're not through it all the way, 100%, but I see the light at the end of the tunnel, it's almost done. And we're getting back to me. And that's why I figured I would do a little check-in today. Um, today is Tuesday, um, thank God. Uh, Monday was pretty much the worst at work. It was a lot. There was a lot that I needed to do. So I was pretty head down in that and also just still recovering from my sickness. And then today I woke up, it was the snow day and Rain was home from work. So I had some extra hands with Noah, which was great. I got to like do some resting. I got to lay back and actually be on my laptop and like actually do work. Like not the fake work that I'd be doing. I actually got to do work. And um, so I did that and I had the day just to kind of recoup and get on a good foot. And tomorrow's hump day, tomorrow's Wednesday. So that's halfway through the week. So we're killing it. And I'm feeling like we're on the tail end of my little friend. So we're back. And I figured because we were back, I should compile a little video. I, I take clips every day here and there. So what you guys are gonna see at the beginning of this video is just like a little recap of my life over the last, I don't know, five or six days. I don't even know if Wednesday was the last day we checked in. Um, I'm just gonna give you a highlight of all those days that we missed. And hopefully you enjoy that. <laughs> We're here, it's Tuesday night. I am putting this video together now. I'm hopefully gonna post it this evening so that I can start fresh tomorrow on a Wednesday vlog. We love that, we love to hear it. So tonight I am making soup, um, sopa de pollo more specifically. Um, it was like a snow day today, so we needed something like warm in this house, something warm and yummy. And I put a spin on it by putting some plantain in the soup. I never put plantain in my soup, but Rain was like, yo, throw some plantain. He's so Jamaican, love him so much, giving me these ideas. So I threw some sweet plantain into the soup and I'm super excited to taste it and try it but the soup looks good it smells good my house smells bomb and i'm pretty sure i ate it up also i got a pr package that i tried to unbox while i was early on the period and i literally just looked sweaty and gross and disgusting in the video so i was like girl we, we gonna have to record this again later at another date because you look disgusting so today's the day um they sent me a package versed you see my new headband? They sent me my headband and she's so cute. It's like a, oh, this hair needs to mind her business. Um, it's like a little linen, like tan color, which is my vibe. We love her. 
And then what I'm about to use for you guys right now is the Daymaker Micro Crystal Exfoliator. And it says to use this only twice a week because I think it's a little um, aggressive on the skin. But like, y'all know that I love a little aggression to get that disc, you know. So I'm about to use this right now while we're doing this little chit chat. Oh, it smells so good. Ooh. Okay. But no, so I'm loving this Versed. Um, maybe next time I'll do an unboxing, but I will show you all the products that they gave me. Actually, I can probably just show you right now while I'm like rubbing this in. So they gave me this exfoliator and then they also sent an instant resurfacing mask. Um, and it says made for aging skin and dullness, which is 100% what I've been feeling lately. So let's just see, it says, once a week at night, apply an even layer to the skin, dry skin, avoid the eye area, rinse with cold water after three minutes or two to three minutes. So I'll probably do this tomorrow night so that you guys can see how it works. And so me, so I can see how it works. But so far, this brand is giving really nice products. Um, I'm really digging this exfoliator. My little cheeks always get red, so there's that. But... I'm gonna rinse this off and see what it's giving. Okay, so we love, I don't know. My skin feels super clean, like super soft, kind of like baby's bottom. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but she's giving soft and silky. Um, I love that. Verse eight with that product. Like, look, I don't, you can probably see it. I don't know. I'm feeling like you can see it on the camera, but. <laughs> She's looking real healthy. <laughs> we love that. Okay. And so the last thing they gave me was the Buff It Out AHA Exfoliating Body Scrub. Um, so I'm going to use this in the shower in the morning and let you guys know what that ate for. I have like really, really dry hands and really, really dry like ankles and feet and like legs. So I'm going to try that out and see what it's giving also just really fast before i go on to my regular creams i'm just gonna do my hydrating cleanser um that it's a niacinamide um cleansing gel and it's from naturum um this was on like a korean skincare um this girl that i follow she has like a lot of korean skincare but it was like a korean skincare um amazon page and I basically just buy whatever she buys because her skin is so sickeningly beautiful that I need to be using whatever she's using. So um, I'm just doing this little cleanser because I feel like it adds moisture back to my face. And we love that because I know I already told y'all that I'm dry as hell. So I'm just doing this as like an extra. I didn't even put makeup on today. I haven't been putting makeup on. That's another thing. I've been feeling so beautiful lately. I don't know. Makeup lifts. Um, even though we hate my period and it makes me feel like a big fat cow, I don't know why, but I have not been feeling like I need makeup lately. Usually I wake up and I'm like, okay, you look dead. Um, <laughs> and then I put it on. But lately, these last few days, I was just like, you know what? Your skin might be doing what she should be doing, which I'm pretty sure that's why I feel so good. She must be giving because I've been waking up and just feeling super confident about what we have going on over here. Like look, now that I'm bringing the moisture back to my face, look at, let me rinse her off so you can see, but like, y'all, she's so happy. She's kind of snatched, I don't know. Okay, but do you see what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't know if you see what I'm saying. Like I can see it on like from over here, but I don't know if y'all can see. but like please please do, look at this skin there's literally no lines no pores no nothing like please yeah that was my week we're caught up wednesday is tomorrow um i'm glad that i'm gonna be getting back on my little wave with my vlogs and just there's so much footage guys like from throughout the weekend and friday and yesterday and today the little stuff that I've been kind of compiling there's just a lot 
so I'm excited to get it onto a video, edited down and like uploaded for you guys so you have it and it's there and so I can say that I'm done and kind of caught up. And tomorrow we're going to do that routine like we've been supposed to do for all these days, okay? We're back on it. We were supposed to get a nor'easter. We didn't, okay? The cars are cleaned off and ready for the day. They lied. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling so much better today. Yesterday I had like the most disgusting migraine. I couldn't even lift my head off the pillow. I was so sick. I was going to edit this video for you guys last night, but it was going to not have this like little chit chat because I just was not feeling up to it. But I'm glad I waited because I really wanted to just do a little catch up. I miss the camera y'all. I don't know. It's only been like a handful of days, but I feel like we've been doing this. We've been on this little trajectory for a couple weeks now just every day updating and I've been loving it and these these last few days I've been missing it and I think that's how I should be feeling so I'm I'm proud of that I feel good and happy about that um and then I'm just doing my snail mucin which I'm sure you guys saw all over TikTok I say it every time it's my favorite thing look what it does to my face like I don't know go buy it as you can see, I'm like more than halfway done with it, which is kind of sick. I've been using it all throughout the summer, pretty much all last winter. That's probably when I got it. It's lasted me this long and she eats every time. So now this is just my nighttime skin. So I'm gonna wrap this hair. Um, I'm gonna go back in the kitchen and I am going to get these boys some soup. And then we're gonna sit and we're gonna eat and I'm gonna compile this video. But yeah, I'm super happy that I had this chance to do this chit chat with y'all. And I will see you for my Wednesday vlog tomorrow. And yeah, I'm like, what else? I hope that everyone is having a beautiful week um, and just getting through and feeling confident and feeling like they're getting things done just feeling motivated and all that good stuff because those are really important things to feel and I wish that and pray that for everybody because that's how I be getting through these weeks y'all like when I when I take strides and check things off my list and all that good stuff it it truly is what propels me throughout the week because I don't want a job y'all I don't want a job I don't I don't I don't want a job so doing my little goals and like writing out my dreams and bullet journal journaling and creating my little thought bubble brainstorms surrounding like just all my hopes and dreams and things that I want to create and the person I want to be and the, and the things that I want to do for myself and my city. That's the stuff that gets me through my work week, y'all. So I'm just feeling really proud that I got to touch on some of that stuff today. And, you know, that involves talking to you guys um, on our little chit chats. So thank you so much for being here. I will be here tomorrow morning. We're going to be doing the thing. We're going to clean the house. We're going to reset. We're going to get this task list going. We're going to hop in the planner. And we're going to do all the happy planning things that we need to do to be successful, okay? And success can be literally whatever it is y'all think it is for you. But for me, it's getting to this bag. Okay. See y'all tomorrow. I'll probably like throw a couple more clips, but good night. No, look at your hands, buddy. <laughs> you he Y'all. Uh, I asked Rain today, I was like, do you have a Valentine? He was like, no. And I was like, oh, okay. And then he went to the store because I have to do his hair. And he was like, are you going to go get the stuff to do my hair? And I was like, I mean, I can. You want me to do your hair? And he was like, oh. And so I went and look at how... I can't. Thank you, my man. Ha, ha, ha.
Okay, no, yeah, we gotta change your butt. Huh? Huh? Hey, <laughs> nudie booty boy. <laughs>